next one that got but married. Tracy, you're, you're, I don't you're, know anyone in a, a happy relationship. Yeah, but you're also a smart person. Yeah, it's, you're not a dumb person. Clearly. And and no, you're a smart person. And so you know that if you continue this, there's no happiness at the end of it. And I and so at some point in time, you have to make a decision. So if you like, what are you jealous of? I'm not jealous of, but what character mm -hmm. would you aspire to that you don't think is you have? Just like the no bullshit. Like, I think that I play a mean game and I like I put on a front that I don't. So you mean set, setting boundaries for other people? Yeah. Yeah. And so because people set because you don't set these boundaries and people treat you like shit and then you feel mm -hmm. like shit. Right. Because right. people so always you say, wish... like, you know, yeah, when you meet me, like, I think a lot of people are like, oh, she doesn't take any bullshit. Right. Because like I, I have a pretty strong personality. Yeah. But, you, but I think that I'm literally the opposite. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah you're full of wrong. shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> So, so um, here's, okay, so here's how I think the best way to move forward is, like, so one of the things that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pretty kind dude in general, you know, I, I'm always a dude who Correct. is, if you're in, if other people are in pain, I, I don't want that, I always give first before, and so I realized that I, you know, at, at, in a, point in my life I was really a pushover about it. like I gave to people who didn't mm -hmm. deserve it right and so what I had to why well, I, I did two things but ultimately what I had to do the, the 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 real answer is to recognize and be comfortable with who you are like so when you don't like yourself what I'm you got to understand that you're but you're kind and you're generous and you're generous even when people aren't generous to you. And mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand how rare that is for people to get nothing back or be in situations with, with social situations where you know that it, it does nothing for you other than sacrifice. Doesn't that give you a good feeling inside about, about who you are as a person? You know, I, I feel like almost like I don't know why anyone wouldn't be like that. I think there's a but lot of you, things that I take for granted. Fair enough, but you know that people are not like that. Not only that, you know that people are not like that because you experience those people. Those are the people that take advantage of you. So yeah. whether or not, so again, this is you're you're not a you're not a um a, a dumb woman. So we have a, there's living examples of these other people who who are not don't throw themselves on the, on the, on the sack, you know, become the sacrificial lamb and don't do that. Don't, don't you understand what a rare, rare, uh, quality that is to, to, to yeah, be. I guess I do. But at the same time, like, I think that I am getting better in general as a person, like with setting boundaries for myself, but um, here's, you know, I, I mean, here's a thing that I think is interesting is I understand mm -hmm. you want to be able to set those boundaries, right? But the boundaries is not the point. That's not the first step. The first step is you going is recognizing that you're generous and you're kind and you're giving. And that is what makes you great in itself. Just just that. I mean, people taking advantage of you. That's their problem. That's not your sure. problem. Sure. They're I the mean, I'm, work, I'm working on the four agreements. Are you familiar with the four agreements? Yeah, I, I know the book somehow. I, I'm, you know, I'm, working, I'm working on the four agreements and, you know, just knowing that, like, how people treat you is not a reflection of you. It's more of a reflection of them. So I work. I do. I, you know, I try to think right. about that. But, you know, and then you kind of, like, come back and you're like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm the common denominator, though. See, I think I, I see. I don't necessarily fully I agree with that because I think people treat you how you allow them to treat right. you to some extent, whether it's relationships or Right, but it also, it, it shows, it shows really on them that they would take advantage of someone. Right, no right. Doubt. I, I, no that's, doubt. Yeah, that's what we were saying in the first place. And so you, 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 you're saying, I think that why wouldn't people act like that? But you have hundreds of examples of people not acting like that. In mm -hmm. fact, in fact, I would be surprised if you had any uh, situation or very, if you had any situations where people were as, sacrificing as you are I, I i would bet that you'd have to really think hard of somebody yeah, doing that and probably. so so that in itself says that it's a rare thing right. if if you have all these social interactions with people and you don't have any examples mm -hmm. of people being sacrifice sacrificing themselves for other people right. like that so it's a rare thing and if it's rare it's valuable and and so i think you got to start with the fact that 
that you are, that the, your kindness, and I say this to dudes a lot of times, a lot of times guys will call and they'll be like, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a pushover. I, you know, I buy stuff like this and then, you know, they, what, what we would call a simp. But what you don't understand mm -hmm. is your generosity and your, your, your the, 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 the thickness of your character and your righteousness is more valuable than anything else. Sure. We got it fucked up. It's the dickheads are the ones that have the problem. It's not the people who are kind and generous. But because we, we, we operate in that ecosystem, we have to understand that we, we got to recognize people who are parasitic or people who are, who are self-absorbed and stuff and understand that what the animal that you're dealing with, you know, and that right. you, you, whether or not this person even gains access in your life is more important. But I think you sure. gotta you know you gotta first accept that the generosity and the way that you do things and the way you go out is a is a goodness that's really rare. And if it's rare, right. then it's valuable. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Tracy, I mean I guess I yeah. never really thought about it like that. You man school two oh two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.